This is a guide to the folio in four that you will be completing along with the unit My Pet Cody. In Digital Technologies and My Pet Cody, this unit, you'll be creating a product which will be your virtual pet game and a folio which will be the folio in four. Four referring to four pages or four major steps in the process. The four steps in the process or the four pages are outlined here and also they will be on your e-learning site for you to review. The first of the pages is identifying and defining. This is where you will lay out your initial ideas for the project. You can include some of the early learning from your unit work. You can also include things like safety tips for using the micro bit and also a list of aims, which we call criteria for success that can go under functional and aesthetic in perhaps a table that you set up. It would also be great to have some initial existing product ideas or inspirations. On this presentation and also on your e-learning site, there's a list of guidelines of the sorts of things that can be included on the identifying and defining page. So step one or page one of the folio in four. Next comes researching and planning. Again, this is where you will log the work that you're doing in the unit. It could be that you take some screenshots of some of the work that you're doing, even the design work or drawings, if you are planning the characters that could be in your virtual pet game. It's also a good idea on this page to log some of the learning that you have been doing with coding, and this can be done through screenshots. Think about how you will present this page and lay it out so that it communicates all of the work you've been doing in this unit. And again, there's a list of steps that can tell you specifically the sorts of things that can go on that page. Step three or page three of the folio in four is producing and implementing. This is where you show your production steps. So step one, step two, right through to when you have a completed project. Also, you can include things that you've learned about coding or things that you're learning, and also some screenshots of the work you've been doing in planning the coding. Even if they're mistakes made, it's still a good idea to include them on this page. And again, a list of guidelines of to what sort of things can appear on this page. And lastly, there's testing and evaluating. This is a set of questions that you could ask of yourself or of others um, to help you reflect on the work that you've been doing and also the project that you've completed. Keep in mind that things um, may not have always gone very smoothly, so it's also a good idea to write down the things that were very challenging um, and maybe some flaws even in the way that you worked. So this becomes a really good reflection on how you have worked and how you can work in the future in the area of coding or project work in general. Again, a set of questions that can help guide you and help you reflect on the work that you've been doing. That's the fourth page of the folio in four. To end, here is a sample of a student's work. Um, you'll see here four different pages have been um, put together and they've been presented in a really effective way. Lots of use of tables, nice clear headings, and a log of the student's work. 